Welcome. Thank you for your time. This is a video from our Business Building Roadshow, and today we are talking about the practicalities of making changes to business. Please feel free to enjoy the other videos and to subscribe. Bringing change and transformation is hard work, but it is rewarding. Now, we often naturally resist change, but at the same time, improving who we are and what we do, aspiring for better for ourselves and our families is what we do. And in many ways, this is what defines us and this is what we want to explore in this session today. Now, in we've talked about this previously. As a leader, you must be the change you wish to see and you must treat others as you would wish to be treated because this is how you motivate people this is how people respond now there's three arrows across the top one's called organizational squeeze rails for operation and building momentum once we have the leadership in place we need to build the capacity and capability to undergo change while supporting current operations and it's about this emergent behavior as we've talked about previously now to get things to change in an organization the executive need to be engaged they need to drive they need to have the vision and they need to set the strategy because this is seen by the executive to be important people respond accordingly. Then it's getting the buy-in at the operational level so that they will champion the change. Whether it's a reskilling in a process, adoption of technology, whether it's an idea coming from the guys at the coalface, which has been integrated into business. If the people running day-to-day -day operations, dealing with customers, coping with the logistics and trying to make it all happen within the organization can see a benefit, can see that it's relevant to them and that they want it and they need it, it will get adopted. It is then press from the top, get the buy-in at the bottom, press up and the squeeze in the middle drives the mid-level layers of the management and the organization to respond to change. This is not a criticism of the mid-level layers of management, but most of them are stretched flat out just doing day-to-day -day operational issues. And whilst in their heart they want to make changes, they don't always have the time, the capacities and the capabilities and the prioritization that comes. So by the organizational squeeze is getting support from the top, getting the support from the bottom, applying the pressure and driving out the change. Now, Rails for Operation is about how you direct and guide the transformation. It's like a railway line. You put the rails down, the train goes along the track. A bus, you give it a road, it goes along the road. For an organization to undergo the transformation, the rails need to be put down. This gives the direction and the guidance whilst empowering everybody else to go off and do what they do best. It is an iterative approach with continuous development. There's no panacea. There's no silver bullet. There's no magic wand. There's no one size fits all approach that's just going to happen. It's an iterative approach with ongoing continuous development, skilling and training. It's about being pragmatic and what is practically achievable. Yes, the goals have to be aspirational. But unless there is a clear path of pragmatic, practicable achievements, you, we're not going to get there. And again, as we talked about earlier in the session, 
or if you're following online in one of the other videos, it's about this sense of ownership and sense of empowerment. Now, it's about building momentum. It's a matter of starting. There's never a better time to start transformation. It's a matter of just starting. It's got to be relevant. You just got to get the buy-in and support. You need the ongoing skilling, the training, the education, and the engagement. There needs this ongoing reinforcement so that the benefits are seen. People understand what is happening, why, how they're going to benefit. It's fix the pipes and help the people. I know change is coming. Help me with the change. Tell me where to go to get help and support, and I can better myself. It's about recognition of achievements, and it's about people of influence to champion the changes. Not everybody responds to what a manager says. There's often people of influence at the operational level that are much more influential and have much more impact on individuals than what a manager in a remote office is saying. And again, we need to assure the ability. We need to assure delivery. We must be the change we wish to see and we should treat others as we would wish to be treated. In the room, we're going to discuss the organizational squeeze, the rails for operation, and the building the momentum as three separate topics with worked examples. For those online, please feel free to enjoy the video. Please feel free to get further details from the book, including case studies, scenarios, exercises, and practical implementation details. The book is available direct from the publisher, Amazon, or other bookstores. Any author profits from the book and the videos go to charity and community purposes. Thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed the session and look forward to your comments. Don't forget to subscribe so that we can help you and please make the most of the other videos.